here. I'm doing a video here, the first step in building a PC or a computer. It's not as hard as you think, folks. It's real simple. First step is getting the components together or probably buying the components together. So I'm going to put you here on my desktop and we're going to go online and buy the components. Okay? So here we go. Ready? Okay, so I like to use Firefox, and there's different places you can go online. I like to use Newegg. That's just one of my favorite places. A long time ago, I used to do Tiger Direct, and then I used to do both. But Newegg's a really good place. Over here in my cart, if you look over here, I've already got components together. I'm not buying these components um i like to play around with the computer and just to see what it would cost for me to put together computer parts I would, what i try to do is this i do this for fun sometimes i try to put i try to build a computer at its at its top notch components and just top-notch computer at the lowest cost i try to build it as high tech as possible with the lowest cost so it's a balance between get as much high tech computer at the lowest cost and i do this for fun sometimes by putting my components in a uh i call it a cart online and i was playing around as you see right here i was playing around here one day there's my ram Actually, I was playing around. What if I was to, these components here that I have, this is what I would need to upgrade my current Windows computer I have over here from a DDR4 to a DDR5 system. And there's the AMD. I'd put an AMD six core CPU in there. That AMD six core, the 7500, that's better than all the eight cores that's actually probably better than all the 12 cores from the past um or the, the generations before that one so anyway this is what i'm going to do i'm going to show you how now the thing is, i want to i want to empty all this out what you got to do you got to put together components that that can fit with one another or you got to put the components together that can communicate, fit and be together. So you got, what you got to do is this. You're going to first start with the motherboard. AMD, I'm going to do AMD, then I'm going to do Intel for fun here, okay? I'm going to do both. So you want to go under top here, computer, computer components, okay? And I'm going to go motherboard. I'm going to first do AMD. So let's go motherboard. AMD's the easier one, I think. I, I think AMD's easier to put together as far as looking for parts than Intel. Um, so here are, so I'm starting with the motherboard. Look how expensive, Lord Jesus. Look how expensive that is. Wow. I've not put together in a computer in a while. I'm not seeing it so expensive. See this one right here? That's an AM. What well, says AM5? I thought I thought that was AM. Here's one. Oh, that's an ASRock. ASRock is actually ASUS. Uh, uh, ASUS owns ASRock. So, I, from what I understand, ASUS bought out. See that motherboard? There's one hundred and fourteen dollars. That's what I'm used to paying. I've not bought a. I've not put together a computer in four years guys so 
I've not done this in a while, so but it's I still know how to do it. But I'm looking for the the B five fifty board, the AM five, because that'll do DDR five. I'm looking at these mellow boards right now. I'm trying to figure out. I would like to use ASUS. My favorite is right here, Gigabytes. God, look how much money that one is. They have really gone up in price. They used to not be that expensive. I'm looking at these right here. See this board here? If you get a, uh, that's called a, see how it's perfectly square around that thing is? That's a uh, nine by six, nine by six board. The smaller boards will make you a faster computer. The smaller boards definitely, because they have less, uh, the electricity or the data that travels across the board has less distances to travel on those boards. Everything's put together tighter, everything's closer together. So anytime you have a smaller board, it's gonna be a faster computer. But on the other hand, the bigger boards, what's the advantage to the bigger boards? Like, let me show you a bigger board. This one right here is a bigger board. See how much, it's not a perfect square. This one's a 12.1 by 6.9. The, the only advantage is to the bigger boards is you can put more stuff on them because they're bigger. They got more room, they got more options. So the bigger boards, you're gonna have more options. That's why they're bigger. There's more places on there to do things with. The smaller boards may not have as many options on it, but because everything's closer together, they run usually run faster than the bigger boards. Um, I'm, I'm gonna try to, what I'm gonna do is either Asus or ASRock. ASRock and Asus is about the same. They're, they're the same company. So I'm gonna go down here and look for, so first off, I'm gonna click on DDR5 because I wanna make DDR5. Um, I'm thinking, give me a minute here. Let me go to where it says, here's what I'm looking for. Let's do Asus and ASRock. They're the same company. Uh, ASRock is the same thing as Asus. As Asus is, ASRock is owned by Asus. ASRock's gonna be cheaper, but it's still the same thing as ASRock. They're, they're both the same company. So let's look. Now, the way I like to do it is, I like to go over here and start with the lowest price first, and then work my way up. So, I wouldn't mind having one of these small, I like the smaller boards because, I like the smaller boards because they're faster. And I usually don't need a big board because I'm not going to put a lot of stuff on my boards. I'm not going to run two graphics cards. I mean, I will run, I would like to run my DVR card and a, and a GPU. There's only two things, really. Um, that's a pretty look, good looking board. Let me look, let me just survey them all before I make my decision here. See, when you got a board that's perfectly squared like that, that's a faster board. I can tell by looking at it. And that looks like an old board. It's not. It just kind of looks like one because that green color is old, old stuff. That is the board right there that I really like. That's the board that... Uh, why has it only got is it three and a half stars? This thing's only got, no way it's got four. It's got all, it's got, when you're looking at these things, I always pay attention to the, uh, this right here. That's the ratings. That's five, looks like I think five, yeah, it's got five. Now see, when you got 455 ratings, and it's a five star when the ratings is like that high. There's been five, there's been 445 people to give that thing a perfect five. That's gotta be a good board. 
if that was like a 3.5 with 500 ratings, that's still a good board. But man, that's a five. There's been 445 people to give that five stars. Now, that don't necessarily mean that board is perfect, but that's a very good indication. You know what I'm saying? Because you've got 445 people to give that thing a five star. Wow. And $188, not that bad price. And that is an AM. See right here, it says AM5 board. These numbers, when you're putting this stuff together, you just got to match these numbers. I'm about to show you. I want to look at this board. I just want to see what all is on this board. See, uh, can I blow this up? Okay, yeah, I can. Right there, it's got a one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. It's got a 12 pin. This right here is for the CPU. And it's got two um, of those. It's got that. See, that right there is where my TV card would go. That right there. Look at all these SATA ports. Wow. And then these are for lights. These are for lights. I like it. I wished I had that in a small board. I mean, let me, now see, um, these, do you see this right here? Let me show you. Do you see this right here? Right here, this shows you all these boards that are very similar to that board in the same brand. And it gives you the price right here too. So that's the cheapest one. Let's click on that one here. God, look at that one. Man, that one there is top dollar, isn't it? Let's go to this one. That looks like the same thing, don't it? It is almost. Okay. I'm going to go with this one. So I'm going to add the cart. And then, no, I don't never do the warranties. Don't never do the warranties. They're a rip off because it already comes with a manufacturer's warranty. So, I put this in my cart. So, you want, when, now then, when I buy the RAM, I want to, this, you actually can go online and look up this motherboard. If, if you Google the, the name of this board, model number and everything, and go to the, a, the, the, the ASUS website, and if you look up this board there, it'll tell you all the RAM, the brand all the numbers and everything that matches up. But what I'm going to do is this. I want to go under, hold on. I want to make sure I'm buying the right RAM. Let me show you here a minute here. Okay. Let me pop this up. Right here is where the RAM goes. Right there is where the CP goes. To put a motherboard together, what you're going to have to do is you got to buy a power supply too. But you got to buy the RAM. You got to buy right here where the CPU goes. And then your, your GPU goes there. And then your hard drives, M.2 drive, hard drive goes there, there. Or these could be used as hard drives too. So this is where the RAM goes. To so make sure you're going to buy the right RAM. Well, A and D is pretty easy. Uh, you just see it says DD, see where here it says DDR5. And then you also want to go under specifications right here. See, it says do it supports dual channel. You always want to make sure. I think they all support dual channel, but make sure it says dual channel right there. You always want to do dual channel. And then right here it says the pins DDR5. So. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna type in. Hold on, I got my board backwards here. RAM. Let's do RAM. So we can go to RAM. Um, hold on a minute here. You got your different speeds right here. Okay, the speeds you want to click on DDR5. That's what I was going to do. DDR5. Now it's going to do desktop and laptop. You're going to make sure you click on desktop because that's what I'm doing as a desktop. 
Dang it, is it going to give me an option for a desktop? Is it going to give me an option for a desktop? Where's the desktop option at? Okay, right in this corner right here, you want to make sure you get it sold by... I would make sure you get it sold by this company right here, New Ed. You want to turn that on, because otherwise it may be coming from Hong Kong and it take forever to get it. You want to make sure it's in stock. So click on that. Um, well, I don't have to click on desktop. I'd like to, but I can tell by looking at it if it's desktop or not. Usually it gives you an option, desktop, well, that's not doing it. I can tell by looking at these right here. That's desktop, $99. Now this is DDR5. See, you wanna make sure you get the speed. DDR5, see it says DDR5 right there, speed 6,000. There you go right there. It's $99, it lights up. Um, let me just look at this other RAM, just see what all they got here before I make my decision on that. I think that's what I want. I like this brand right here, Conair, because I know that company. They're, they give lifetime warranty. I'm talking lifetime warranty on the RAM. And there, so I'm going to add that to cart. So I add that to cart, and I want to do, not going to do that. So I'm buying components right now or just playing like it. This is just playing. I'm just playing like it. I'm buying components to change my computer over there to a DDR5. All I need to do is change the motherboard, RAM, which I just did, and now I need to change the CPU. And that's it, because all my other components, my power supply, I don't know about my heat sink. I bet my heat sink probably won't work. And the thing is, those older component, the older components in my computer over there, my heat sink, my motherboard, these components that I'm replacing, I could sell them to somebody and get back a couple hundred dollars. That couple hundred dollars would go back over to this, wouldn't it? So whatever I spend here, I take them other components and sell them and get my money back to go, to go towards this. So anyway, now let's go find Let's find, let's go under components. Now we're gonna go under CPU. Uh, give me a second here. You wanna go under CPU, where is it? Oh, there it is. Then see desktop, you wanna get desktop. Okay. So I'm in the DDR5. Hey, they've actually got 9600, look at this right here, 9600, would that work? Would that work? That's a 9600. Six, six cores are okay. Uh, even for gaming, six cores are okay. I know some people put 12 cores, 25 cores, whatever cores in theirs, but A and D, this six core, eight core be fine. I think, well, I think this six core right here is better than, that's the latest generation six core. My six, my eight core that I got in my computer now, even though that's eight core, the more cores, normally the better you can multitask and the faster the computer will be. But when you're dealing with, the one that's in my computer is four years ago generation. This is probably the latest generation. The latest generation is always going to be better than the past generation. The later, the later generation six core is always going to outperform the eight or even the 12 cores of the latter of the later generation. The newer generation means that six core will do better than my eight core. I guarantee it will. I'm, I'll be willing to bet money on that. Let's just look at this here in a minute. This is the main thing right here. Now see right here, it comes with graphics. It comes with a GPU. 65 watts right there means it doesn't use a lot of energy. That's good. You don't want one to use a lot of energy because that's a lot of heat through your motherboard. And see, that's got a Radeon graphics. Um, I 
this is what I want to do here. I want to highlight. This is some of the newer stuff here, folks. I'm going to go to the AMD website, look this thing up. I just want to know, this is the AMD website. It should be. I want to look at, look, okay, here's the specs. It's Gen 5, 6 core, 12 thread. It goes up to 5.4 hertz from 3.9 to 5.4 hertz. Cash is 32. Watt 65. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. I want to know how many cores. Well, I know it's a 6 core, but I wonder how many. Operating temperature, 95 degrees Celsius. Here's graphics. Oh, it's got two. It's got two cores. So that's a six core CPU, two core GPU. So we had six plus two. That's really an eight core. So anyway, anyway, okay. I'm trying to do this inexpensively as I try to put as much high tech in this as I can, but then again, I also watch the cost. See, this one up here is a 9000 series. This one down here is a little cheaper. It's a 7000 series. So they've got all the way up to 9000 on these series. It's got an Intel in it. Now you can get a 7,000 series a little cheaper. It's a little less than $200. So it's like, that's about another $50. I think I would rather, I don't think I've added that yet. That's, that right there would be lovely. No, thank you. So anyway, now then let's go over here. So, Wow, those three components right there. I think my GPU will work, since, especially since it's an AMD, um, uh, especially since it's an AMD, I think my GPU, as long as my, if my, well that thing has, that one has a, that one has a uh, GPU built in it, but I'd like to be able to use my Radeon. See that's right, yeah, that should work, I would think. So, um, I gotta be careful about doing this. I don't want it to charge my debit card. I like to hit on secure checkouts just to see what that would cost after taxes. Taxes are about 10% in Tennessee. So you would add about, and then shipping. Hold on a second here. Um, well, it says estimated cost $487. See right here, 97 cents. That would be to upgrade that computer to a DDR5, a later generation. Thing about it is, I'm gonna be getting money back on those old computer parts. I know a guy, I know a guy in Knoxville that would buy my old computer parts. I mean, I'd probably get $200 out of those old computer parts for sure. So, that's going to be about another $50, I think, when you got shipping and taxes and everything. So, let me think of I it. Mean, that's going to be about $520. And then take away $200 from my... See, I'd get money for those old parts. So, I'll probably need about $320. After I get my money back on my old parts here, the difference of $320... $320 would upgrade my computer to DDR5. Now, let me check some out here. What kind of RAM did I get? Oh, I, that's right. I got 32 gigabytes of RAM. Okay, that's cool. So anyway, this has been Tim's Tech Talk. But see, when you buy these components, you just got to make sure they fit and they match together as far as their speed and the way they talk and work together. Anyway, this is Tim Tech Talk. I appreciate you watching. 
I do this stuff just for fun. I'm not real. I'm not really buying this, by the way. I'm just doing this for fun. Thanks for watching.